So we have a nice intimate little class. Um, thanks for showing up. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done a command class in a while, so it's just you. Just yep, also, yep. And then if anyone hops on Zoom, which I'm sharing my screen so they can um they can hop on anytime. So um you guys I know are all familiar with command because you're in it every day, right? So, I'm gonna lie to say yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> lying? Uh no, don't lie. It's okay if you haven't been, but that's why you're taking the class so you can be. Exactly. Um I actually I do, I am teaching another class. I'm gonna start to put these on the calendar more frequently. So today we are gonna do farming um, and talking about postcards and designing them and actually even getting them mailed out through command. Um, and then next week, um, I think I had to change the time, but if you guys are interested, next week I am doing a, it's in two weeks. I think I'm doing a Facebook ad class again. Yeah, get more leads through Facebook. So that's next Thursday at 10 a.m. if you're able to make that. So um, are you guys all logged into command? I am. Okay. Else is She's going to follow along? Yes. Now, do you have a listing or anything right now? Uh, I have one. Piece of land, and I have which nothing on top. So I, I think list, what we do because I have a list of new contract. Okay, so we let's just for like the sake of the class, let's go ahead and do a um like a home value postcard. Does that sound good? Yeah. Um, and I'll show you what we're in there too. How you can um uh, add listings to your postcard too. So. Just a friendly reminder that this red KW in the top left-hand corner, and, and it is best to work in command out of Chrome. So if you are in Safari, I would probably switch to Chrome. Okay. Um, so this little red KW up here opens up a little menu, and um, there's always two things in command. So when you're doing any kind of designs or campaigns, you create in the design center, and then you're gonna blast it out. You can see the megaphone, you're gonna blast it out through campaigns. So always starting in the design. So let's go ahead and get us to the designs. Um, and then what we're gonna do is whenever you're in here, just to kind of review this page again, the designs that you see, if you have any designs, these are designs that you've created in the past. So if you haven't really created any designs, you're not gonna have anything there. This is just my like kind of type A-ism comes out here because I love just to have like different folders that I can click into. This is literally gonna be like every design, um, but you can filter so you can find a past design if you wanted to like duplicate that design. But whenever you're creating, you're going to do something new you're always going to come in here and create new, create design. It's always the first thing you're going to do. Can you do me a favor? So that whole board is blurry to me, and it's not because I'm old. So it's yeah. Bad. So if you, as you're navigating, can you just say like it's in the top right or? Oh, absolutely. My vision's coming back. Yeah, absolutely. So you talk a click design, create design in the top right? Uh, yep, create design in the top right. Thank you. And then it's going to have a little pop-up come up, and you have to tell it what kind of design you want to create. So today we're creating a postcard, which is print. So we're going to go ahead and click on print and continue. 
and it's going to make me log in. Should make you log in. I just see. Hi, Tim. Thanks for joining. I see you're on Zoom. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so as soon as you clicked on continue, it gets you into, so we use, you can see up here in the URL, if you looked at your URL, it's going to say kwwebrand.com. Yep. So that's just the platform that we use for our design center. Over on the left-hand side, you're going to see all your folders. So the print design library and the social media design library are going to look almost identical. Um, so there's a couple things here. If you go to listings and click on listings, we can just click through some of these. If you have a just sold, just listed, anything like that, a price update that you wanted to do a postcard on. Um, so if you just did just listed, you're going to see across the top all these different options up here, um, door hangers, bifolds, trifolds. So what you're looking for is just a standard postcard, and it's showing mine on the far top right, standard postcard. So if you click on standard postcard, that's going to narrow it down to the postcard that we're going to be working with within designs. So again, you can see they've added, I don't know if you, you would notice, but I, I would notice that they've added a couple new designs. These two are new designs in here. So that's kind of neat um, to see that they're doing that for us. Um, again, same thing, anything you click on on the left-hand side. So I just went to just sold, standard postcards. So these are your options. But like I mentioned today, just so we can all, be on the same page um, under lead generation um, on the left hand side again in the menus under lead generation there's a home value and again click on standard postcards up at the top there's only two to choose from in here but you can personalize these designs to make them you know a little bit more visually better if you'd like. So let's go ahead because the one on the left has, if you hover over it, you're going to be able to see the front or the, or the back too. I think they're both going to be pretty much the same back. Um, but let's click, I want to show you the one with the picture. So let's click on use on the, the very first one. And that will open up the design for us. Are we all good? Yep. Cool. So as far as this design, the reason why I picked this one, because if you were doing a just sold, just listed, um, here in our design center on the far left, you're going to see all the different um, icons that you have. The third from the bottom, it's called KWLS, Keller Williams Listing Services. So the reason I'm showing you this is because you actually have access to every listing in the MLS through this little tab. So you can search by the listing address. It's a little more difficult just because there might be a 1573 Terry Boulevard in multiple different states. So it's best to search by an MLS number. So if you knew that, otherwise, if you knew the address, and I'm just going to put some random numbers in here, uh, you could see that you would have access, and this looks nice and sunny and beachy. So let's select this one. But we're just going to pretend that this is your listing, so you can make sure that this picture is clicked on over here. You could see it's highlighted. And then if you hover, think about our designs, you do have to be kind of careful. You cannot be clicky. Like you can't just be like, click, 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 right? So like, click, click, right? It's just popping it right in the middle over the design. 
So if I ever make mistakes or errors in the top left hand corner, you have some options. The arrow that's pointing to the left is an undo button. So if I ever make a mistake like that, undo button is my favorite, my favorite thing. So again, I want to make sure that this picture is selected. And then I'm going to hover over the picture on the left. And now I have three icons here. I can add it, which is going to do what it just did, pop it in the middle. I can replace it, which is what we actually want to do. Or you could set it as a whole background. So if you're creating your own design, you could set it as a whole background. So, and again, I just picked some random pictures. Um, so you would just replace it and it would pop it in there. So I just wanted to show you that I know we're not doing it around the listing right now. Um, huh? Oh, okay. Well, then did you find your listing and popped it in there? Perfect. Um, the other really neat thing, just since we're in designs, is right next door you have your listing details too. So you're not having to go back and forth from the MLS to like your design and the MLS to your design. So if there's a spot where the address is, you literally could just either add it or if you had it selected, would be able to replace it. So I can say, I just want to add, we're not going to, because this is a home value, but I for you, you can replace it if you chose of just the suggestion. And now this is super random on this design, this white line. I'm just gonna take that and drive that over. I don't know why they had it centered in the middle, um, but I think it's pretty much supposed to look like that. Um, I do want you to also know with this picture, so different neighborhoods have different looks to them, right? So if this doesn't really represent the neighborhood that you're sending the postcard to, we also have a bunch of pictures up here at the top left icon. That's our images. So you literally can go to the workspace here, which is right in the middle, and you're gonna have house interiors, lifestyle at home, lifestyle activities, so if I said house exteriors, you're gonna have all of these houses to choose from. Now you do have to kind of be careful because you can see in this design, like you could drag, drag this over, but if it's, a, if it's a bigger, if it's the house needs to fit the design, right? So if you needed to drag this over to make it the best time. Yeah, I think I've done too much to this design. It's not really happy with me. Um, but you can come in here and maybe find a door that looks a little bit more suitable to the neighborhood that you are um, marketing to. Make sense? Cool. So the front page, super easy. Not much more you have to do there. Down in the bottom, far, far bottom right are your pages. So you can click on that and then you can go to page two. Just click on the, the second, the back design. So the, um, the cool thing about this is they actually will put stuff in there for you. Um, so if you like what it said, keep it. If you don't, when it comes to text, um, there is this really good, this uh, cool icon up at the top. It's in the middle. It's a little tiny like rectangle that has the tiniest T in it, but it actually is a typewriter. So any text that you want to, you could also like, um, are you, or do you have the text, like, or do you have on that page right there? And you have the text highlighted. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so if you yes, highlight, do. <laughs> so you can. Some people just like to type inside of here. It just makes it a little bit more convenient to pull it up on the right hand side, like in a Word doc kind of form. So you can completely you can use what's there, or you can change it to whatever works for where you're marketing. You said there was a 
rectangle box with a T in it? Yeah. Do you see it? I see. It's like the smallest thing. It's so steel. Two T's? Mm, it's just, it's like a little, the oh, left. Candy bar. Yeah. That looks like a candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> like a chocolate Somewhere. candy bar that's open. Yeah. Somebody's hungry. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. Oh. I got it. I have it now. So you yeah. do want to keep in mind with postcards, like this spot right here will fill in when we get to the second part. This is obviously where our address is going to go and their address and all that stuff. But if you click on your picture, this dude's picture right here, and you'll notice images is already highlighted. Now, instead of workspace, you want to click on my assets here, and hopefully your picture shows up. Okay. So he's still highlighted on the thing. Okay. See, oh, never mind. Yeah. Yep. I'm not <laughs> yeah. So for the picture, then same thing. You don't want to hit the plus button. You don't want to click on the picture. You want to actually choose the replace button. I just like off a bit, it's not bad. So select the picture oh, and then the replace button. And then it's just as simple as editing this stuff. So you can do it right in here. Like I said, some people just like to type in. Now, if you notice my name was longer than the one that was there. So I just, to fix that, you just need to click off of the box. And you'll see now the circle. So you could just grab this middle thing and drag it out so it fits. And then underneath. So if I didn't want to type in here, I could type in the click that typewriter. Here you would put realtor, whatever your designation you want there. And then when it comes to like the phone number and email and stuff. Again, you can type in the design or you could do the typewriter. And I like to um, I like to identify what these are. So I would put like a C in front of this because sometimes your email and your websites are like almost identical. So I would do uh, like a capital E here. And then I would put a W at the, oops, at the bottom one. You can make this as personalized as you want. Do we have saved Greater Columbus logo? You should, yep. So I'm gonna actually stress this out. Yep, so if you click on your logo, on the left, far left on those icons again, um, you should have a logos tab and then you want to click on my assets. So the logos also depending on, hopefully if you don't have them all in here, I can help get them in here, but you should have all the different variety of colors in here. Because of course, like this is a darker black uh, background. So you could use the difference in these. If you see this, the white, like on here, if you see this white, then that white is actually gonna pop up on here. But if you don't see it like in these, those are gonna have an invisible background if you have those same logos. So like I would probably replace it with the same type of design that's already there, the all white one. Or you could do like the white and like gray scale. I'll say in the middle again. You want to make sure that it's selected. How do you get the other assets? I have one. Because he has one. Okay, so yeah, that'll be something we'll do after. We'll have to put it in. You could, um, yeah, we'll we'll make sure that you have all of them in there. So you could save this. Um, actually what because you're actually going to do this now what i would do is let me email you well, logo. I'm, not, I'm not really i'm playing with others. okay good you can come back okay perfect. yeah i'll do this again later okay so um downloading when it's anytime where it says download my um my app 
our apps have like the weirdest ending. It's like KW1WX345. And I think that's so hard to type in. So if you're using our KW emails, I would recommend going, or excuse me, uh, websites, going to your website and using the, the URL there. So like, for instance, everyone, if you're using your KW website, should have a home search app page. So I just literally opened a new tab, went to my KW website, dropped down to the home search app, and then I would recommend taking this because people are going to be more inclined to type in these words versus if I clicked one more and clicked on download now, this is that random, like this would be the weird URL. It's like KW1Z. I don't even know if that's an I or an O or a zero. Or, so if you have the page, I would definitely recommend copying this. My URL. It's just arnoldcenter.kw.com. Probably. Yeah, it doesn't have any here. Well, did you go to, did you click on this little your agent up here? My agent. It says your agent, not my agent. It says the name. Okay, so click on that. Sometimes it's a little different. Yeah. And then do you have a home search app tab? Yep. Home search app. Yeah, so we would click on that and then copy that URL. And I would paste that into the design. So my after the forward slash just as consumer app. Is yep, app. Okay. that's fine. Okay. Yeah, and again, everyone's could be a little different. Yeah. Um, so I just did it in the typewriter and replaced it that way, and then I'll just stretch it out. Um, so that now went over into my little thing. So I'm gonna make this darker come out just a little bit. I don't want to mess with that um, that too much because I don't want it to go into here. Uh, and then if you're happy with everything. I would kind of. Let me know if you're happy with everything. Nice. Do you have what? Not that at all. <laughs> hey, um, so I saved that, that URL in the typewriter. It's on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. um, remind me again how I copy it over without retyping it. Um, Control V. Or on your Mac, it's going to be Command V. Oh, wait, v. so you just highlight it. Yeah. Another neat thing that you could do too, like if you, if this red is a lot on the front, it went back to the front page, you have the ability to change the color at the top. You could see a little circle that's red. If you wanted to match the back and have it more of that darker gray scale, whatever works best, you can click on that little, um, the red circle, and then you could, yeah, change the color. This though, I don't know, it's not, unless you can get it to completely match. Let's see, it might be best to just, Keep it red. So wherever you go and insert, or make the back red, or I just wanted to show you have the option to change that background color if you if you wanted to. Okay, so everyone happy with their design for now? Obviously, you'll come back in and you'll get the logo and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this part is actually pretty important. Um, when you're downloading it, so you definitely want to download, um, you're going to choose uh, the PDF for printing. 
So first you have to click download. And then where it says PDF standard, you want to click PDF for printing. And then you want to make sure that this, this include bleed is um, selected. And just including bleed helps to avoid white gaps when printing to the edge of the paper is what that is. So before you download under all pages, you actually want to download one at a time. So you want to uncheck number two. So we're going to download page one, just download, and then this will gray out. So if you're using Chrome, the cool thing about Chrome is when you're downloading something, it will download to the bottom of your screen and you'll just see it sitting there. So you don't want to click on it. Um, but just let it sit there. So mine's downloaded down here. So now I'm going to go download again. And the only thing I'm going to do is uncheck page one and then check page two. And then just click on the page up here. I'm going to download that. So you should have two little downloads in the bottom left hand corner. Do you have to keep that little disclaimer at the bottom about the this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I always wondered that. Yeah. Each office is independently owned. On the Facebook one, you might not see it on like some of the Facebook designs and stuff, but when you're in the campaigns to post it, mm -hmm. there's an option to include it there. Okay. Yeah. What about like one of our yard signs? It should be on your yard signs already. The ones that you, it should come with it printed on your yard signs already. I think I might have deleted it. Like doing the design. Oh, double check that. You might want to get a little sticker. Okay. Yeah. Because that's like a state law thing. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So when you have both, so now we're done with our design. We're happy with it. We're just going to say done in the top right hand corner. And you're going to see your design sitting right there. Um, and we're going to now move to campaign. So we finished our design. We want to click on this red KW. And we're going to go to our campaigns tab. This is where we push out our designs to the, the public. Same thing here. When you're doing something new, you're, a lot of agents will come on this page and start looking for something. That what you're looking for is the top right create campaign. Whenever you're starting new, you're always going to create new. So it's always create design, create campaign, and it wants to know what kind of campaign. Again, we're going to do a direct mail. Um, I always say start at the top. Always start at the top of any pop ups. So we're going to name it. Um, for me, this is going to be home value, and I might do New Albany. But if it's a listing, obviously, you're going to do the address. Um, so we're going to attract, I'm attracting listings, right? Home value, you're attracting listings. This is just your, the goal is just for you. Um, so it's not extremely important, but when you have those two, the name and uh, the goal, you're going to create that campaign. So I've highlighted that box track listing. Oh, no, I've got all the answers. Mm -hmm. so. so just like most all of our campaigns, the left-hand side is where you're going to make all of the personalizations. And the right-hand side is just going to be a preview. So you get to see what that postcard, that Facebook campaign, that Facebook post, that email, what it looks like. So left is always for editing. Right is always for just a preview. You're going to see these circles. A couple of them already have the green um, the green circles. So we're just going to start. We want all of these to be green. Um, with check marks before we can move on. So we're going to start with the content and you can completely bypass creating your design 
And you could literally start from campaigns if you just wanted a quick, quick, no, um, like no banners on it or anything, if you're doing it on a listing, is you could select your listing here. Um, but since we created our designs, we're going to actually upload a design, which is right next door to select a template. And as you scroll down, you're going to see a front and a back. The great thing again about Chrome, and remember the first one that we did, uh, the first page we downloaded. So the first page is actually on the two downloads at the bottom left of your screen. You're actually going to set, select the second one and you can drag and drop that up to the top. So the second one on the bottom is page one. And then you, the very first one, which is the second one we downloaded, you could drag to the back. It's a very simple drag and drop. Okay, when you're done, you can just hit save um, on the left-hand side, and you'll see now next to contact content, we have a green chat mark. So we're gonna go next to the market center. This is a little bit of an annoying thing to me. I don't know why they only give us 35 characters for our brokerage name, but if I added the state, you can see we're over in numbers. It says 39 to 35. If I try to just add all this information and verify, it's gonna red flag me. So I would just bring down, you have to keep Greater Columbus Realty, um, but KW can be abbreviated and that will make it so our brokerage fits. So unfortunately you're gonna have to do that every time. It auto-populates from your market, um, from your marketing profile to just bring that down to KW. Um, our zip code is 43219. Once you hit verify then, I always say I always say you want to the corrected address is the one the one that they select as corrected. Just make sure it does have your suite number. They just abbreviated it so there's more room on the back or less room. It takes up less room. So once you confirm your market center address, you're going to see that green uh, circle the check again. And then we're going to drop down to targeting. Are you guys good back there? No. <laughs> Where are you at? Um, verify address, click that. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. You're going to see the green circle next to Market Center, and then you're going to go to targeting. So there's two things you could do. If so you're doing. Oh. So when I click verify address, it gives me address injured. A corrected address. You want to make sure you. Want, I always say use the corrected one. It does not mention suite. It didn't. No. Yeah. It didn't so abbreviate it to STE. STE one hundred one hundred. This is it twice. Uh, then that must have been something that you typed in. No. Let me just see what So go, yeah. You can so if I don't enter suite on that address block and I hit verify address and leave it blank, it comes up correctly. Okay. All right. Okay, and then go ahead and save. Interesting. All right. Mark. So for targeting, you can target your database. So if you wanted to send your database like a holiday card or a thank you card or an event postcard, you can target your database as long as they have addresses. But what we're doing is we're gonna target a local, local targeting, a farm, right? Our farm. So you have to, if you're targeting a farm, have at least one address. So I'll just put in one address in that farm. So you might have to look on the auditor site or if it's your listing, it's gonna be on that listing or wherever you wanna send these postcards to. Um, I'm just going to put in my address. But again, wherever your farm is, you have to have one address in that area. 
And then I'm going to say. So you're going to notice that you have all five circles with check marks and they're all green. Um, under the budget, you don't have to worry about it here. This just gives you an idea of what it's going to cost. So every postcard out the door mailed is 68 cents. Um, but you're going to pick the actual number. You could do 10 postcards in here. You could do 500, but that comes next when you click on top on the top right hand um, of your screen, configure targeting. Before I move forward, mm -hmm. I have my address. In. I have the options to save it. Do I highlight that circle that says target my database? Nope, that's okay. only if you want to send it to people who are in your contacts. Yep. So Hit save here, then go to configure. Uh, correct. Yep. If all five circles are green with check marks, configure. So what this is going to do is it's going to find that address from targeting on a map, and then it's really cool. You could literally draw a circle. It's going to do. It's going to automatically populate two hundred addresses for you because that's just what was on the last one. But here's my house right here. So that was the targeted. I could actually say, I just want to draw and I only want to send them to these houses right here. And so that'll bring mine down to 49 homes and that's only going to cost me $33. You always want to make sure you send a copy unless you're sending it to your own neighborhood and your like address is in there, you'll get your postcard. But um, you have on the left hand side, send a copy to the company here so you'll know when they go out. So like I know also that these, um, some of these houses are in New Albany School District. So if I wanted to just target these people or the people that I know are in New Albany School District, I can also just do it like this too all of these people. So that'll be 96 people. So it pulls up, I use my phone. Okay. It pulls up a bunch of streets near my home. But if I want to extend it, yeah, I missed how you did that. Yeah, so on the map over here, on the top left of the map, yeah. you can do all the things you could do like on the MLS. You could just right. draw your own. So you can click draw your own and then do how, and you can make it like even more specific, right? So if I zoomed out, if you see, zoom in here. So I know that these are, so I can say, I know that these houses, are all within the New Albany School District. And I want to mark it to them. So I can make my own. When you hit the polygon, yeah, like on the MLS, you double click to start. Just, I just tried, how do you draw a polygon? So I'm going to click once, click twice. On polygon? Yep. It's a click at each point. And you want to make sure you're like zoomed in or out to the. Okay. Got it. Zoom you out. Know. Do you have any questions, Tim? Well, we're kind of on a little pause here. No, I'm learning a lot though. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> um, I'll wait for you, Arnold, to get to the next spot, which like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, I like that. So when you're ready, if on the left-hand side, you do have a couple filters, um, you can say, I only want single family for what my criteria didn't change my number at all. But if you're doing a really big, wider um, radius, then I mean, sometimes people do want multifamily too. So. 
Um, once you are happy with that, you can say next. And then this is going to actually give you a front and back preview. So this is exactly what it's going to look like when it goes out. Um, so if at this point anything looks not right, you're going to have to back out all the way. Um, and then you literally would just put in your email, card number, expiration security code, and pay for that. So the same day processing, if you submit your order before three o'clock on a business day, your mailers will go to production that same day. Um, your cards will be entered in the USPS mail stream within two business days. So that's pretty awesome also. And then your mailers are estimated to arrive in the mailboxes of the targeted recipients in four to six business days. Once the order is submitted, you will be provided a more accurate estimate. So there's no place that you get to see the actual printed card before it goes out. Correct. This is it right here. Can you say real far? Um, you can you can put a farm in your contacts and tag it. And then you would say um, that that would be the way that you could do it. Yeah. If you what you could do is duplicate. So if you you could if I had, was out here, I'm just going to get out because we're not going to do this. Um, if this was um, a new Albany one, I could always come in here, and I should be able to duplicate. Oh, I think you still have to do your circling. Let me see. Yeah. So everything stayed. I just still have to verify this. Configure targeting, yes. Again, this is the duplicated campaign. So we're gonna see if it keeps the 96. It did. So what you can do is you can duplicate and then just switch out your design. So it would be good to name it, you know, whatever the design is, and then the farm as well. So then you can, if you have multiple farms, you can, you know, you'll know what you're supposed to be duplicating. And then all you'd have to do is go in and change that design and you just still would have that same address as the home base address for the farm. So if you're just using that one address and you do multiple postcards, like for example, the first time we did it, I chose my parents' old house. Mm -hmm. So say I was to send this out using that same address, do you know if it hit like the same 50 yep. houses? Exactly. Okay. So you would just come in and duplicate it. And then once you edit, all you would have to do is re-upload -upload your new design. You still have to create a new design unless it, it was something you could use again. And then all you'd have to do is re-verify our market center. And then when you go to configuring, like I had 96 on that last one, it saved my targeting. So it still said 96. Yeah, to, yeah, that's why I was saying when you are naming it, it'll it's good to name it whatever that farm is, whatever that specific criteria is, along with like one, two, three Main Street, New Albany Farms, or, you know, parents farm, <laughs> parents home farm. <laughs> so do you think it's a good idea to keep targeting those same people or maybe like kind of move around a little bit? So if a farm is a specific target, recurring targeted area. So a lot of people will farm a place that they used to live or their neighborhood they live now. Um, but if you're just getting out your name to neighbors after you sold a prop property, that it just depends on how you want to run your business. Like I know we have an agent, Steve Collins. He would, no matter where his listing was, he would send it to his neighborhood. That was his farm. He would always pick and so he wanted his neighbors to know that he was doing business 
even though the business wasn't in their neighborhood. Makes sense. Yeah. But other agents, many agents, if you're doing it just listed, will send it out to that neighborhood or a just sold. So the neighbors are like, oh, they get to see how much they sold for. Um, but like for you and your parents' house, like you know that area, right? So it'd be good for you to farm it because you can, you've sold something in there and you can answer questions and like a home value in that neighborhood would be good for you. They say farming should be four times a year. So like postcards, quarterly postcards. Because you're also like wanting to target that neighborhood in different ways, right? Some are door knocking, some are doing Facebook ads to like that within that area, um, different things like that. I can't do Facebook ads anymore. I'm like restricted. And I try are to you do doing them from command? No. And I tried to do so. You need to come to my class next week. <laughs> okay. What's the date? Um, Tuesday at 10, Thursday at 10. Okay. Or there's also, yeah, so if you're doing Facebook ads, first off, you, because of our partnership with Facebook, you, it, it's more beneficial for you to be doing them through here because you're going to have all of your leads populate through and then put those leads on smart plans. I was trying to do something through Connect. This was like around the holiday time. I think me and you had talked about last time I seen you was um scheduling. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to do that and it was it wouldn't allow me to like move forward to Facebook. And then I don't know if it's because if of you've changed your I know we're kind of off topic here. Sorry. Are you guys good with your postcard back there and the okay, cool. Yes. Um, if you've changed your Facebook password or no, I would just go click on your name and go to settings and just maybe disconnect and reconnect um, your Facebook or even make sure that your post scheduling and your ads manager are both connected. And if you're doing an ad, you want to make sure that when you click on this drop down, that yours is actually checked right here. So those are some different kind of like things that you could do to make sure. You can you should go Huh? We can go over all that next week. Though. Yeah. Okay. If you go to if you go to campaigns, you're already there. Just go to campaigns and click create. Are you connected right here? When you go, it's like your dashboard on campaign. Do you guys have any postcard questions? That's pretty simple, huh? Yeah. Going through so, the design is the probably I would say if there's anything kind of tough. It'd be the design because there's just like finicky things in there that you have to play around with or whatever. But once you get to pushing it out, it's pretty easy. So I noticed in there there was under photographs you could choose to select. I had a bunch of them that said pro or business. Mm -hmm. So are we? Are I don't see that we I have access to those. I was. Um, Let's just test it out because I was playing with that the other day, and those are newer. Um, I think that one girl keeps popping up. I don't know if it is. Yeah, so like, <laughs> so like, if you started fresh, these are like backgrounds that you could use. So if I if I hovered over this, see how this all these icons here, that's a background. So this gets so you can use this. It allows and um how it's long like this, that's just for different formats. So you can create, like you can create your own. Here's this one, it's cute. It's taking a little bit of time to load. But this way you can create your own postcard. You can add then text to it. Um, let's do body text. You can add whatever you want. You know what I mean? Huh? You can make invitations. Oh yeah, oh, for sure. So this is a postcard again. So you're gonna have a front and a back. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure you could use that same 
can we add that's not like we do. images like like I like photography. Can I mm -hmm. add my own images to that? Right here. There's it's under images and the first little icon is add. You just have to not be careful. That's not the right word, but when you're uploading images, like depending on the design. Yeah, you should always then have them under the ad too. Where do I find that? I wonder if I could actually pull Facebook images. That would be crazy. Um, so you would hit, you would do the under a design, or or I could show you. Um, actually, let me show you. I think we're gonna get kicked out of here slowly. You can pull images from Facebook. That's crazy. I'm not doing this right now. So I have to look up my code. But you can add images from Facebook. <laughs> I never knew that. That's interesting. Um, I'm just going to say done. And here, Arnold, this will show you. So to access your assets, this is good too for you. To, the, the, I wish it said something else. This import design. So I'm right now on the design center on the home page. Yep. Instead of creating one, if you click on import design, it actually gets you to where you can add your own assets. So up here in the top left, it says templates, images. If you go to assets, this is where you're going to add your logos. Right, so if you click on logos, this is where you import all your logos. I can show you where to get those. Um, you can add, if you're gonna have images that you're always gonna use over and over, then under that image tab, any assets that you put there will always be there. You actually could add your own if you have a specific um, font that you like. You can have your own color palette. If you have someone like help you with marketing, if you want to use the same, like you know the RGBs, mm -hmm. um, you could have the same color palette all the time. Sometimes you see people on social media have that same. It's always the same. Emily Tapman, I think, is one. She has her gray and green all the time. So you can have your own kind of palette there too. And then to get out of here, you would just click on your picture in the top right hand corner and log out. And that gets you back to. Your designs. Some of that is not very intuitive. Like I am not a big fan that this is import designs. This should say something like my assets <laughs> right if that's like the main purpose of it and then in once you're back in here like that how do you know to like get back to designs it took me honestly so long to figure out like i had to click up here and to log out to get back so those are kind of like little tips that you get from going to trainings right or you'll kind of go crazy trying to figure out otherwise i used to just like close out and go back into designs but those are just little things. You said do this about every four months. Uh, every three to four months. Yeah. What is the quarter? Three months, three, six, nine, twelve. Every three months is typically when you farm a postcard farm, is what they say, because it's the most expensive out of most of your uh, marketing. So, like, if you were doing a business plan, it would say. Print marketing is typically every quarter. Okay, so I'm about due February, maybe. Perfect. Yeah, and do a home value one or so. I'm definitely going to do that one. That was great. Mm -hmm. And you can switch up the picture, like, and then the other one, the other home value. And I, you can Google like literally Google home value sayings, real estate home value sayings, and rip off and repeat. <laughs> we like that one. <laughs> I mean, I do that with, um, we're actually having um, a, it's not a class, it's just a fun event here where we bought, um, we made Valentine's Day cards for you guys. We got 
I think 150, wait, we got 50, 50, 150, three different designs. They all say something a little di different, but like you could say, I'm a sucker for your referrals. And this one says, when the conversation turns to buy, home, sell, call me to get to the heart of the matter. So we actually are gonna, it's on the calendar for, I still have to pick them up, but we're providing the cards and the envelopes. Um, and I think it's on here. Where did we put it? Um, I think on the six somewhere here, Tuesday the seventh. So it's card writing party. Join us for Valentine's party. This one will make your clients love you even more. We'll provide the mail the materials, bring your client list, and have fun creating real estate themed and touch, followed by happy hour. And progressive euchre. I have a closing that day, so we'll just see what time. Oh, okay. Try and push it up. But that'll be fun for any fine. past clients or clients that you have, and you just need to bring their names and addresses, and it'll be fun. Yeah. In the designs. Um, I think my point was is that I Googled all the things today. <laughs> in in designs, yeah. Um like I'm looking at designs right now. I have three assets. How do I add? Like you have multiple because you created them. So these are these wouldn't be considered assets. These are just designs that I've created. And you know, because I do trainings, I have so I have 224 in here. To me, I don't I don't like this view. I don't like how they have it set up because I I prefer to have all my social media designs in a social media folder. I, I mean, I can filter right here next to search designs. I can filter and say, I wanna see only all my print designs um, that I've created. So there's only a hundred of those. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, this is just old designs. I, I don't like it personally, the way that it's set up. But just know if you're creating new, you're always going to create a design. So unless I create new ones, I'll just have these three. Yeah, correct. Okay. And you can duplicate them. Like if you hover over them, these little dots will show up and you can make a copy of it or. Okay. Uh, Rachel, on uh, back on targeting for local targeting, when you uh -huh. put in the. When you put in the address, does does it does it randomly choose locations, or do you have to pick them off the map? Um, yeah, so it's up to you. It depends on where you want to farm. So you have if you're farming in an area where it's not like a just listed or a just sold, it is kind of a random house within that farm just to pinpoint the neighborhood, if you will. So you are gonna have to have, know if it's it's one that you don't have a listing or just sold. You'll have to know at least one address in that farm to place it on a map so you can pick the rest of it. Does that make sense? So so once you get the map up, you have to pick the individual homes, then, right? Um, no, they they should appear for you in little blue dots. Yeah, I mean, but you have to pick the blue dots, right? You don't. Uh, you don't have to. You can take if you wanted to, like take some off. Like you know, um, for ants, for instance, let me show you. So if I went here and configure targeting, oops. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Yes. So, like for instance, if I knew that I wanted to take some houses off of the map, I can hone in right here and say, remove this one, remove this one, remove this one. Okay, but I guess what I guess what I'm asking is, once you draw the line or the circle, it chooses all the houses in that circle, correct? Correct, yes, yes. Okay, good. That is correct. Um, okay, I think um, we do have a two o'clock um, Boomtown demo. 
Um, I'm not sure who is um, posting that. So um, I'm going to have to. Uh, do you have any other questions, Tim? No, that's it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hop off this Zoom and start that other one. Um, thanks for joining.